Okay, so we need a cylinder machine uh, structured hex hexa machine for uh, cylinder body using uh, ICMCFD blocking. Uh, now we are going to uh, dig into the off tree machine methods or unstructured machine methods. So this is my far field and I've got my cylinder, cylinder body inside. Uh, the first thing you do uh, for off tree machine let's just make the sizes a bit bigger. 24. The tree machine is a pet. So it contains train goals and ultra huge train goals are for train goals surface and ultra huge is volume. And to capture the boundary, we use prisms. They're called pentagram. And if you have any ports or um, extra elements uh, for the, those are structured in their nature, and uh, they will be connected to the tetrahedra using elements or the uh, Called pyramids. Yeah, pyramids. Okay, so pyramids are of low quality, but they are the only option to connect a hex element to a tetrahedral. So those come in uh, hybrid mesh methods. But for now, we will concentrate on off tree machines. And uh, first thing to do is build topology. For uh, octree machine, you don't need a very well connected surface, I guess. But uh, uh, it's always good to build topology to see how well the surface is and the geometry is connected and the quality of the geometry. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and uh, start with the topology. So, if I go ahead to build topology, clicking here at part and click apply. Um, Actually, before that, before that, let's, uh, I forgot, let's just put a body, body and part. So let's call this our fluid zone now. So fluid in between two points, I can select any two points on screen. I usually try to avoid cutting through or the point falling in, in the, our body of interest. So the fluid is in the middle uh, of Z axis, but somewhere in front of the as long as it is not through this body, it's fine. Okay, so that's our fluid. Now I'm going to build topology. Some tolerance is automatically given. Uh, this value is 0 0.04. Um, let's go and uh, measure some distances. Uh, let's measure this distance. It's 1.14. If you divide that by 10, we get. Um, let's go to. Let's go to calculate. I'm pretty bad at this, which is why I'm going to the calculator to do 1.14. Well, Google is to do 1.14 divided by 10. So imagine that. Okay, 0 0.114, and we got 0 .00, 0 0.004. So that means that that should be okay. Click apply. And we've got all the curves in red now. That's actually uh, this color by count option being on. Uh, so if you always want to see how well your geometry is connected, just click on color by count. And then you will see if if it is all red curves, that means all the curves, all the surfaces are well matching each other, well connected, no holes, no gaps, good geometry. And uh, you can go ahead with meshing. Okay, so we've done the topology. Now we all we need to do is set some global settings. 
so the length of this far field domain is is roughly distance of distance of let's do that again 52 52 meters okay so that means i can have a maximum element 52 divided by 20 so something like 2.3 click apply uh, and uh, my surface meshing parameters I'm going to set as so first I did the global maximum element settings yeah, I can click display as well and this will be the my maximum size of the global mesh element so those will be on the far field so there's no problem okay I'm going to use all triangles, patch independent, and respect line elements. Uh, and and then I'm going to my volume machine tetra mixed robust oak tree. I'm not going to use any thin cuts or anything because we have a well defined geometry and. Uh, no sharp edges and no sharp trade images or anything. Okay. Um, so we can just some set just set some uh, settings for the parts separately. So I'm going to do um, for the far field the same as that, but maybe two, and for the fluid two, for the ceiling now I'm going to have point two. Click apply and then I can go to surfaces and show tetra sizes. And this is my tetra sizes. And this is my tetra size on on the cylinder body. That's fine. Um, that's just uh, so if you know uh, if you think about it, you're just going step by step, step by step. Uh, first you set the global settings, then you set the parts. Then you can individually set the surfaces as well. Uh, let's say this one I want to be a bit uh, smaller, 0.1. Yeah. And now I'm just going to set some settings on the curves. So turn the surfaces off. I want 20 nodes on all these uh, curves. And any nodes here as well. Okay. Then I'm just going to I'm just going to the volume mesh. So compute mesh, compute volume mesh, create prism layers as well. And uh, for the prisms, I'm going to select. Uh, Ceiling the body, and before I compute mesh, let's go to global settings and set some prism. Always, you need to tell to the software which volume part the prism or the boundary there will be. So there's only one volume part for now, and it's fluid. Just click accept, click apply, and leave all those settings as it is for now, and compute. Let's see what happens. Three hundred. Yeah, so it's done the volume machine. It's doing some more disconnecting open cells. And then it will do some smoothing. And, and then it's doing the prisms now. And Three layers in the boundary for now usually you need to have at least 15 20 layers with the first cell height spacing um, configured according to the Reynolds number let's have a look at the now that it's done it said finish computer mesh let's have a look at the, the mesh uh, in terms of the shells this is what the outer zone looks like. 
find to me and uh, turn off the file field click fit screen turn off bodies as well click fit screen this is the so you see the global settings the size we set is in the uh, is in the center but since we set 20 nodes in the for all these uh, curves uh, it kind of respected the line elements because if I uh, if I um, turn off the shells and turn off the curves as well and turn on the line elements I'll see if I won't let's say just uh, I'll click delete and then turn on the shells it's the same size as this triangle here which is why you see this transition so you can actually specify bigger sizes using global settings and use the number of nodes and curves to uh, make the transition uh, smaller or the sizes smaller as it goes to, towards the curve okay since we set surface using surface separate option smaller size here it has respected that as well and uh, so the surface machine looks okay let's have a look through the cut plan so you go mesh cut plan show cut plan um, and I want to have a look in the middle X plan this way and turn on the prisms turn on volumes and this is what it looks like so these are prism elements pen to five and these are the tetrahedral elements and let's turn on yeah okay so that's how you generate octree machine um, for this uh, kind of configuration um, just memorize this memorize this uh, what it looks like in fact let's just let's just take a screenshot of this uh, print screen and here we will just uh, paste it and used great qualities in Microsoft Word to crop this image let's get this recorder thing out of our way okay so this is what octree cut plan looked like um, now we are going to change the mesh to delune and uh, we can we don't need to compute everything again we can use the existing mesh and use quick delune Turn off the create prism layers, volume pertinent inherited, so it will be okay. And the input will be the existing mesh and load mesh after completion. Click compute. See what happens. Um, okay, so now going to be use the Deluna mesh is computed and we are going to use a cut plane again to see the difference and it will be the middle X plane no, middle X middle X wasn't it No. Okay. We go Y. No. Left. No. X. That's not middle X. Okay. No. Somewhere here. Turn on the volumes and the screen. Yeah. 
in screen and paste this right next to the oak tree and we'll have a look compare what differences do we have right okay no i can't so this is what the oak tree looks like so it's pretty much the same sizes everywhere and then sudden transition but with Delune and you got uh, bigger cells gradually decreasing in size and the transition is much smoother which improves that which we talk about that the large jumps that you want to avoid so I prefer Delune over Octree uh, but Octree is over uh, is a robust machine method so you can use ro Octree at the beginning and then change it to Delune later okay so in the next video we will talk about how to improve the mesh quality for this uh, unstructured meshing and how to split the prism layers to resolve the boundary well right okay